Hello everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create your own 3 volt battery holder. This is a work in progress video on the Fighter One from Crusher Joe series. I wanted to add LEDs to light up the engine components in this model kit. And uh, as you can see, I already created the wiring uh, using just wires and then copper foil tapes uh, as uh, circuit boards. So all the wires are terminated uh, inside the model. In this video, I want to show you how to build this 3 volts battery holder, uh, which will be used to light up the model kit later. And you need a battery, a styrene sheet, I'm using a 1mm thick ones, and uh, copper photo tapes from Amazon. So you could pick out any button uh, battery, any size that fits your project. Um, in this particular project, this battery that I'm using, it has a diameter of 20 millimeters or two centimeters. Uh, now you don't want to create a box uh, that covers the whole battery because otherwise it would be very difficult to take it out after. So um, I'm just going to be creating a bracket that holds the battery. So, um, so I'm using this little T-square, uh, measure out a 10 centimeter space and uh, to cut out a strip for this bracket. So um, I'm flipping this around because I'm right-handed and uh, the other way around, it's, um, yeah, I won't be able to hold an X-Acto knife. So you just make, uh, I made a couple of uh, lights uh, cut to it and then um, just snapped the styrene sheet to make a clean breakaway uh, from this cut. So as I said, the battery diameter is 20, uh, 20 millimeters or, 20, or 2 centimeters. So I'm um, just going to be creating, uh, making a cut of that size. Um, so you could either use a ruler or in this scenario, uh, my cutting mats actually have um, uh, 10, 10 millimeters marking on it. So I ended up using the uh, markings on the cutting mats instead of using the T-square. Like the other cut, just uh, two light cuts, two light passes, and then just snap the styrene sheet to break the parts out. Um, so instead of measuring it again, I actually took the uh, the cut part, uh, overlapped it to the longer sheet, and that way I could make another duplicate cut. So after that, you want to sandwich the button, uh, the button battery between the two styrene sheets. And I'm going to be using a clip to hold it together. Uh, you want to make sure the edges are nice and parallel uh, because we're going to be creating the vertical walls uh, to complete this bracket. Now, for uh, to glue the um, the parts together, I'm actually using Tamiya Extra Fin Glue, uh, or you could use Tamiya Extra Fin Glue. Uh, the content in this bottle is no longer the same thing. It's actually methylene chloride. Um, it's actually uh, it works. It's it's stronger than the Tamiya Extra Fin Glue. Um, it's also a solvent and it's perfect for welding acrylic sheets together and in this case it also works with uh, styrene sheets. So uh, yeah, just line them up properly and then um, that was a big drop. Yep. Just kind of paint it on the edge and give it a couple of seconds so it has, um, give it time so it um, melts the plastic a little bit. So this is an edge that um, it's not completely um, perpendicular to the uh, to the other piece. So later on, you're actually going to see me um, it it breaks apart, and I but it was an easy fix. 
So just give it a few seconds for uh, let the solvent do the work and uh, once the plastic is melted it's pretty much uh, an instant dry but um, if you give it a few seconds it would let that plastic harden a little bit before you move it around. So yeah, I wasn't so sure about that edge, so I'm reapplying the solvent uh, just to make sure. Okay, now that I feel that it's dry enough, um, I'm using an X-Acto blade to uh, cut the edge so I could work on the other side of the wall. Yeah, I just basically hugged the plastic instead of uh, using a ruler here. You don't need to be exact because uh, we could always trim the excess uh, with, a, uh, with a cutter instead. Just snapping it uh, carefully because that plastic is not 100% hardened yet. So same thing on this side. Again, make sure it's 90 degrees per perpendicular to the, the vertical walls. The advantage of using solvent instead of a glue is that I don't need to worry about um, this, uh, you know, the solvent reaching the or seeping into the battery. Um, because the glue, if I use CA glue, it um, if it touches the battery, it's going to be gluing the battery onto the plastic as well. But with solvent, it's just going to melt the plastic. It's not going to do anything to the battery. So I gave the um, the bracket a couple of minutes to rest to make sure all the joints are nice and uh, hardened. And now I snap the snap this off. And now I could trim those excess edges uh, with a model cutter. Um, yeah, with the plastic cutter. Again, you don't need to be perfect because you could always finish this off uh, or make adjustment with either a file or sanding uh, sandpaper or sanding sticks. The next step is to cut out a piece of um, copper foil tapes. Uh, this is to create the connection between the battery to the outside edges of the brackets. Uh, so you could solder wires um, to complete the circuit or to deliver power to the lights. So you don't need a lot, and I'm just eyeballing um, uh, the amount of tapes that I need. Um, it only needs to wrap around one side of the bracket for each for each tape. Now the tape is a little bit on the rigid side, so um, it's easier to apply it with the help of a pair of tweezers. So next, um, I'm inserting that foil tape to the inside wall of the bracket. And then using a styrene strip just to press the inside into place. And then wrap that foil to the outside wall of the bracket. I know my hand is in the way and it's outside the frame, but uh, the next side you should be able to see the video. Or you should be able to see what I did. So again, using a pair of tweezers. Sometimes getting rid of that curl from removing the, the tape helps. So again, inserting that into the inside wall of the bracket. And then wrapping it to the outside of the bracket. Now 
Now with the slight uh, increase of thickness with the copper foil tapes, that battery should be going into the brackets uh, nice and tight. Um, in my case, we um, one of the edge actually broke, so I'm gonna be repairing it with some more uh, methylene, methylene chloride or Tamiya uh, super thin glue. So I skipped ahead and soldered all the LEDs to the model. So next is to test the battery holder and make sure that it works and lights up all the LEDs on this model. So I hope you find this video informative. And if you would like to see more videos like this, uh, please subscribe and feel free to comment and let me know what you think. In the next video, uh, I could show everyone how I'm going to integrate the battery uh, to the display stand that comes with this kit, as well as how everything else uh, in terms of the connections uh, would work together.